Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to bring you your January 2020 housing market update. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to be talking about single family homes in Boca, Parkland and Coral Springs. Those are the predominant areas that our team does most of our business. When we talk about Boca, we are not talking about 55 and over communities, and we're not talking about country clubs or mandatory equity neighborhoods, which if you're familiar with Boca, there are a lot of those. That's a separate neighborhood, and it's a separate type of property altogether, so we're excluding it for purposes of this video. Now, the stats that we wanna give you are the leading indicators of where the real estate market is going, going forward in 2020, not where it's been. So a lot of times when you hear some of these stats, they're talking about closed sales price. Any property that closed in January, went under contract sometime last year, typically 30, 60, sometimes even 90 days ago. So the closed sales price is really indicative of where the market was, not where it's going. So we wanna talk about the leading indicators of you know, the market and where the, where the housing market is going. So the first stat we look at is the number of new listings coming onto the market. So that is down on average about 19% across the board. So fewer homes hitting the market. At the same time, the number of homes coming off the market and going pending is up 27%. So fewer homes hitting the market, more homes coming off the market. That's gonna to lead to a supply and demand imbalance and that is exactly what we are seeing. So the next stat we look at is the number of months supply of inventory. So in a balanced market, if no more homes hit the market, it would take six months at the current pace of sales for all of the homes on the market to sell. Anything less than six months is a seller's market, anything more is a buyer's market, and we are seeing a seller's market across the board. So in Boca, we're looking at 3.94 months of inventory. In Parkland, it's 4.8 months of inventory. And in Coral Springs, it's just over two months of inventory. So it's a seller's market across the board. It's a very strong seller's market in Coral Springs right now. So you're probably wondering, what does this mean for you? So if you're a seller, the spring market is here. Typically in our area, January, February are a little bit slow. It starts to pick up towards the end of February and then March, April, May through basically the end of November is still very, very hot. That, that spring market that normally starts in March, April, May, it's here right now. I have a lot of buyers who I'm working with who are writing offers on a few different properties and every single one of those properties is getting a multiple offer situation. Every listing that I've taken so far this year has had multiple offers in less than a week. So. That spring market is definitely here. If you're thinking about selling, it is a great time to be a seller and to put your home on the market. Especially if you're moving up from the median price point in your area and you're moving up to a more luxury type home, that luxury market, a little bit more expensive, there's typically a little bit more inventory in there. You know, They sit for a little bit longer. You have more buying power. So you're in the best position if you're looking to sell your, your home and move up to a bigger home, it's a great time to make that move. So if you're a buyer, what does this mean for you? Well, interest rates are still super, super low and that's part of why the market is moving as fast and as, and as good as it is. So with interest rates this low, you gotta be fully pre-approved. You gotta be ready to write an offer on the right property when the opportunity presents itself because the good properties are not staying on the market long. You gotta be ready to write your offer but we can definitely make sure that you get into the perfect property for you. There's a couple tips and tricks that we have. I'd be happy to talk, talk to you about that. Another good thing about being a buyer right now, if you buy a property in February, March, this, this trend continues through the rest of 2020, you're gonna see that equity continue to build every single month for the rest of this year. And going forward, prices are gonna continue to go up, so you're gonna have a lot of built-in equity locking in the house earlier in the year versus later in the year when prices are probably going to be a little bit higher. So that's it for our market update for January 2020. If you have any questions on how this affects you, whether you're thinking about buying, selling, renting, or investing, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd love to talk to you about your unique situation to make sure you get into the right property for you. And we can help you sell your home for top dollar and get on to your next destination. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next month.